Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the NCHSA's 2020 Awards Presentations. Today we have the privilege of meeting our 2020 Tony Simeon Courage Award winners, which are named for Tony Simeon, the longtime athletic director at High Point who saw his teams win three basketball state championships and was a pillar in the coaching community across the state. Today we profile four exceptionally courageous students from across the state presenting them with 2020 Courage Awards for their outstanding tenacity and determination in their triumph over life's adversities. This video will spotlight Samuel O'Grady, a senior cross country and track athlete from Sun Valley High School. This story details Sam's perseverance from a very early age as he fought through the challenges of autism to become an integral part of his school's cross country team. He was diagnosed with autism just shortly before he turned two, which I think was huge. Um, that early intervention is very key to the changes that we saw in him. So basically since the time he was two, he's been pushed and pushed and challenged and hasn't been able to kind of, I don't know, be comfortable. Because <laughs> they had said, you know, he's never going to have friends, he's never going to walk or talk or he's not going to be able to have emotions he won't go to mainstream school i mean it was classic autism they kind of gave us the worst case scenario and yeah we just didn't let that happen the family pushed sam into therapy and continually tried to push him out of his comfort zone to keep him growing as a well-rounded person but in fifth grade sam and his parents made a discovery that would truly change his prognosis and launch a tremendous arc of personal growth for the young man Fifth grade is when we kind of found that exercise connection for him. And then at that point, he was able to get off all his meds and just started running. His dad's a runner. So, you know, we thought, oh, that'd be great. I'll always have someone to run with and start doing that. And then. I mean, I think just like for anyone, I mean, I noticed this in myself too. Um, running is just such an outlet for, for your stress and um, intention in your life. and. You would, you would notice that he was um, just a lot calmer um, and, and, and was able to uh, I just, I just deal with the stresses of life um, better after he had pushed himself. In seventh grade, Sam decided to try the cross country team and was a truly magical connection born. In seventh grade, that first race he ran, he was last, I mean, very last. And his teammates at that, that time came and they flanked him at the end and they ran alongside him to finish that first race. And at that moment, I think I was like, oh my gosh, we found this community for him. And they just, I don't know, they all just took him in. I felt like it was one of the greatest things to happen to me. You know, like, I love, I, you know, I kind of loved it when everybody just came around me and just congratulating me for reaching my goals. I mean, you know, and then, and then I go tell everybody about it because I, because I felt like that they needed to know. So when I first met him, uh, I guess since he had autism, it was a little bit of a struggle for him, I guess, because of middle school, he was in the middle school age. Middle school was just like a rough time for a lot of people. But then when we got to high school, you know, we got closer. Um, and I remember when he was on the cross country team, um, I joined sophomore year. And that's when Sam, me and Sam really got even, got even closer. And you know he was very he was very uh, energetic, uh, always smiling, always happy. Um, even with autism, like you wouldn't even know that he had it sometimes because of how positive he was. He was just a great person to be around. Through cross country, Sam began to grow his network of friends. It was hard at first, but then I um, I got used to it over time, and well. You know, it's kind of where I am now. It's like I know the I know the teammates pretty well. They invited me to some of their parties, you know, because they they love me so much. And so, you know, my teammates were probably my most favorite part about the the high school team. For me, it was really just him becoming just a normal uh, part of the team. Um, you know, when he first started running, he was he was so slow compared to everyone else. And by the time he finished, he was middle of the pack runner. We used to think that we just hoped that he could beat one person and then he would beat hundreds of people in the, in, in the last weeks. Even, even if he did have setbacks, whether it was like he didn't run a fast time um, in cross country or whatever, or maybe it wasn't going too well at school, um, he always really kept that positive mindset. And that's one of the things that 
I took away from him. Sam was constantly looking for ways to support and encourage his teammates, so on the day of the big regional race for state championships, even though Sam didn't qualify, he was there to cheer on his teammates with a box of donuts for them after the race. Um, you know, for most of them, it was their last meet, so um, we kind of wanted to make it special for them. So that's kind of the reason we bought donuts. Was that your idea or is that mom and dad's idea? I think it was their idea. <laughs> Yeah, we like to give him some ideas of ways to like, I don't know, say thanks to those who've supported him and stuff like that. So of course when donuts were mentioned, all in on the donuts. <laughs> but yeah, it's, they've given him a lot over the years and they don't always realize the impact they have. So any chance we have to give back to them, we did. I mean, having him around just really inspired us because he was a, he was a funny guy. He was cool. He even like you said, he, even though he didn't make it to regionals or states, he still came out to those meets. And you know, just seeing him on the sidelines cheering us on, you know, really gave us, you know, that that stronger like will and to go on and try to run our fastest times. Yeah, Sam was um like with his autism. You know, we see it as like he he didn't see it as a as a problem for him. He saw it as a a great opportunity to push himself even more and then when we when he, when we saw him um, push himself and really be excited for just like the small things you know we we all like got uplifted you know what i'm saying like like in the circle he would get in the middle and then he would hype us all up for the meets and you know it meant a lot for him and it meant a lot to us because you know we see a kid with autism going out getting ready to go push himself mentally and running is all mental and so you know being able to see him you know smile and even though we're about to suffer um you know just be happy and you know he really got us motivated sometimes it could be stressful but but at the end of the day um i feel my support structure is always huge and, and i can't i cannot stress that enough so I want, I'm just thanking everybody that supported me through my journey and especially for those that have supported me to run faster and you know, like yeah, my comfort zone. Sam is graduating from Sun Valley this year. He passed his personal goal this year of posting a time of under 21 minutes in cross country and he will attend CPCC in the fall to study applied sciences. A true picture of courage and the value of having your team on your side. Samuel O'Grady from Sun Valley High School, one of this year's Tony Simeon Courage Award winners. For the North Carolina High School Athletic Association, I'm James Alverson. Thank you for watching.